we are incredibly happy to have Angela Valenzuela from Chile with us, the country where we should be speaking now, actually. Thank you so much for coming to us to hear this panel today, Angela. Um, thank you so much for representing Chile here. The cameras of the world don't often look at the global south. In the case of Chile, since COP25 was suspended in Santiago, most mainstream media forgot about us. Millions of people marching on the streets for a dignified life. It's not about 30 pesos. It's about 30 years of democratic governments that failed to protect us and to listen to our demands. Chile woke up. We said, enough. We can't sustain a system that sacrifices people and drives the climate crisis for the benefit of a few. As a response to the unrest in Chile, the government declared a state of emergency. and curfews for the first week. But we are fearless. We continue to flood the streets, even if we are risking our lives. We are redefining our future and pushing the limits of what we think is possible. Chile woke up, and the world is waking up too. It's outrageous to arrive at COP in Madrid and see how the Chilean government cleans its image with empty words while committing human rights violations every day. This must stop now. How can we even think about ambitious action, ambitious climate action, when the governments are, this government is spreading fear shooting and blighting the eyes of people protesters. In order to address the climate crisis, human rights must be, must be protected. While countries congratulate each other for their weak commitments, the world is literally burning out. We only have few years to stay below 1.5 degrees of warming. We are clear on what needs to be done. The solutions are simple. We lack the political commitment. Over the last week of negotiations at COP, governments are discussing the wrong thing. Instead of talking about how to transition from fossil fuels, COP25 is focused on finding elaborate ways for rich, industrialized countries to be able to carry on on polluting while pretending not to. As we know well in Chile, neoliberalism is a dead cult. As we know from past attempts, the market will not save us from the climate crisis. In fact, the opposite. The conversations that governments should be having are actually about the real current impacts of climate change that communities around the world are facing, like my friends have described now. People are already dying in the climate emergency, and these communities need support. But again, it seems that some lives matter more than others. The rich and powerful seem happy to sacrifice our communities in the pursuit of profit. So here at COP, back in Chile and around the world, people will continue to rise against governments that do not represent us. Our lives are not up for negotiation. Our planet is not for sale. Thank you so, so much, Angela. Um